Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. The outlook for gold is terrific. Uh, this third quarter saw investment demand rise 33% on a year-to-year -year, year -year basis. Uh, while there's been some change in jewelry demand, which we'll be speaking in detail about later in the week, investment demand is way up. <clears throat> we expect this trend to continue <clears throat> as people continue to treat gold as a currency and look for a way to protect themselves in this uh, era of growing uh, global uncertainty. Um, <clears throat> now people are looking toward December 9th as a big day in terms of settling the European crisis. We wish them good luck. Uh, we are not any more optimistic today than we were last week about the resolution of the European crisis without uh, a sovereign debt uh, default. <clears throat> as soon as that happens, the Europeans will get themselves together and uh, uh, solve this issue. Until then, let's make a lot of money trading gold and doing some other things as well. We've got some specific fixed income ideas. If you'd like to hear about them today, please give me a call on 781-380-8888. Uh, another factor that is weighing on the markets is that the German auction last week didn't go very well. This is a reflection of the fact that most investors don't want to throw money down the rat hole. That's all it is. And uh, it is a, a gentle reminder that uh, the Europeans have shown very little interest in solving their situation. A frightening idea <coughs> came up, I don't remember where I saw this, but it made good sense to me um, based on how the Europeans act. Uh, people are wondering not whether, or I'm wondering, not whether or not the Europeans are looking to the Chinese to a bailout, but whether they're looking to the United States to be saved. Um, that's part of their history, as we all know. Um, and there is no way that's going to happen. Uh, so they're figuring if things get bad enough, we'll create some kind of facility that will take care of their needs. Um, as we all know, we've got our own situations to deal with, and uh, we must uh, solve our own economic crisis, which uh, has actually great hope of being solved if legislators simply let the existing uh, uh, provisions uh, and, and sunset provisions go, in, go on ahead. In other words, um, if the Bush tax cuts expire and the cuts are made that were promised as part of the super committee, deal uh, were to take place, by 2013, we would have begun serious deficit reduction. Uh, whether this happens or not, I, I honestly don't want to make a prognostication, but I'm going to be optimistic about it. The good news is the U.S. economy continues to limp and muddle along. That's a lot, lot better than most economies in the world. And the U.S., after all, is the only country that's going to be able to solve its own financial crises. We don't require external help to cut our budget. We don't require external uh, help to cut our deficit. Uh, we don't require external help to set a monetary and fiscal policy that makes sense to Americans. Uh, I do not believe there will be any decrease in unemployment over the next 12 to 15 months. Um, <clears throat> which is going to complicate factors for presidential election in a big way. Um, but there's no likelihood of uh, any boom in employment as long as companies are able to keep cash in their accounts and uh, get money for that cash <clears throat> and without any risk at all. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Keep your eye on gold, and if you want specific fixed income trading ideas for today, please let me know. I'm on 781-380-8888. Keep swinging.